I am Pavel Stodulka. I am the chief eye surgeon from Gemini Eye Clinics in the Czech Republic and Austria. My experience with IPCL faking IOL for over four years now, and I think this lens uh, really sets uh, new standards. Uh, number one, uh, this is a truly micro incision lens. So we routinely implant this lens through 1.8 millimeter incision. And I think this is very, very important in refractive surgery. Uh, the lens is manufactured from hydrophilic acrylic, uh, which is a material which was proven to have the highest uh, biocompatibility. And it's been used in cataract surgery uh, for many, many years in millions of implants. And together with the design allowing us to implant through uh, the micro incision, it was a game changer. So uh, that was the reason. And another reason why I really like this platform is a variety of designs available. So not only it's uh, available for myopia and hyperopia correction, it's also uh, available in toric versions and on top of that in presbyopic version, which is a world unique feature. Despite the small incision uh, injection, this implant also has uh, six uh, points of contact and that gives uh, it a better stability. Because the material is uh, different, it also, together with the design, uh, maintains the vault very reliably. And the, uh, the, ver the latest version with the center opening for aqueous humor uh, also uh, eliminates the need for peripheral iridectomy, which is very convenient. Uh, so I think the design is, uh, is uh, really complex. And uh, of course, the combination of presbyopic uh, toric implant with the center opening uh, truly uh, brings a, a high-tech option. The myop, minus five, 50 years old, if we implant presbyopic phakic IOL, IPCL, then we have a chance to just return this patient back to the state of needing no glasses, just glass independency. And this is for the first time we have this option uh, for this age group of myops. So I think presbyopic IPCL uh, truly opens the scope of uh, intraocular surgery uh, for myops in presbyopic age.